Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters, the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and of course, Mad River Travel. And today I'm here to talk a little bit more about one of our favorite trips, high adventure, bucket list. Every angler needs to see the Brazilian Amazon at some point in their career. And of course, we're fishing for peacock bass. But not only do we catch peacock bass, I mean the bycatches, you get jacundas and bicardas and uh, piranhas. Anyways, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, what might be required uh, if you're thinking about joining us on one of these trips. And of course, you can uh, click the links down below me. That'll take you to the full information and pricing on our website. Uh, but first and foremost, we work with a great company and we have since 2005 called River Plate Anglers. These guys have been doing this for a long, long time. They've got this dialed in with this floating cabin system. And it is really, it is so, so cool. They use tugboats to, uh, to haul this camp up and down the river. So you might cover 80 to 90 miles of river on a given week of fishing. Uh, so you're camping at different spots and you're getting to fish different waters. Another amazing thing about River Plate is they have uh, private leases and pr private waters that they have these agreements with the native tribes of the regions and they are the only ones allowed to be there. So we don't see other anglers. They're only fished, these rivers are only fished for a couple of weeks a year and then they move to a different river. So. You, you might think that getting there would be an undertaking, but it's actually a four and a half hour flight from Miami, Florida, and it's the same time zone. So we go to a hotel, we get up on Friday, and we go do some touring of Manaus, Brazil, which is called the Paris of the Jungle. Uh, just an amazing city. You're going to get to see the, the uh, Manaus Fish Market, uh, the Manaus Opera House, uh, just some really neat things to see and do around Manaus. And then, of course, we'll go out and have a good Brazilian uh, steak dinner. And then Saturday morning, they whisk us off into the jungle via float plane. We're usually somewhere around 6 to 8 a.m. And we're usually in camp on the river where we're going to spend the week by noon or so. And we usually get out fishing for a while on Saturday. And then you're there through the following Saturday. And I'm telling you, luxury camping, the food is amazing. Every night when you're getting off the boat uh, at 5 p.m., they meet you with a carparinha, which is the kind of uh, national drink of Brazil. We're fishing, uh, of course, we're almost right on the equator. So the sun comes up at exactly 6 a.m. and it goes down at exactly 6 p.m. So what do you bring? Well, first and foremost, it's important that there is a 45 pound bag limit okay and this is due to the float planes and so you, you need to carry a soft sided like duffel bag i usually carry a waterproof duffel and it's really easy you need two changes of clothes for when you're in the jungle and they actually do laundry you need to have an eight nine ten weight rod I usually take an eight and a 10 and then one extra in case I break something. After all, you're in the jungle. You need to have a saltwater capable reels. I'd have at least a floating line and maybe a couple of different sinking lines. You need a couple of spools of leader material, okay? Uh, we're fishing a lot of sinking lines, so a four foot leader, which we've shown you. Um, you don't need anything complicated, like three section, maybe four section leaders is all you're ever gonna do. Your sunscreen, pair of pliers, your buffs to protect you from the sun, uh, a pair of shoes that you don't mind getting wet just in case, although we rarely get wet because you're in the boats all day. And then you need to have a selection of flies. Uh, that's it. You can easily get this under 45 pounds. And then, of course, we'll be happy to put together a selection of flies for you. And it's, it's really pretty simple. There's some Enrico Puglisi flies that we like. I believe this was called the Amazon Special. Um, he's got the baby peacock bass. So it's pretty much all streamer fishing. This is called uh, TK's Dr. Davis Deceiver. Um, looks like a butterfly peacock. Uh, Pat Ehlers has a fly called the Gator Dunn. That's one of our favorites. How about Lefty Shark and Cuda Fly? That's an excellent peacock bass fly. This is one of my favorites called the Peacock Reducer. 
I've caught a lot of peacocks and unfortunately a lot of piranha on this. And I say unfortunately because the piranha tear it up. We actually keep the piranha. A lot of times we'll grill them uh, right on the shoreline for lunch. And you'd be, you'd be amazed. Yes, piranha. They taste just like human. And then of course, Blaine chocolate's game changers. I don't need, even need to say that. Game changers catch fish anywhere in the, on the planet. And uh, there's some good colorations like these polar game changers are especially good. Um, this is a nice size for peacocks, fairly easy to throw. And then we, we, do, we do catch fish on the surface. We get some on poppers. So you do want to have a few heavy duty saltwater type poppers for this trip. Um, but of course we have all of this here at the shop. We can put together a selection for you with a lightweight fly box. That's really important. You don't want any of these big heavy things. So we'll get you a lightweight box. Always bring hand protection. Bring some sun gloves and some of the ones that maybe have the stripping fingers because you're going to be doing a lot of stripping. And the first few years we went, we weren't really hip on this and we would all come home and our hands would be just torn up. I mean, just like shredded. So you want to bring some gloves with some stripping fingers on them or those kind of stripping finger condom things that um, protect your fingers from, because you're stripping a lot. You're casting a lot, you're stripping a lot, but you're catching a lot of fish. And I'm not lying when I tell you that 100 fish days for a boat is not out of the equation. Um, and you'll see from some of the pictures that I'm sure we're putting up here, um, some of the pictures you can see on our website, um, we've, we've caught some pretty big fish. There are 20 plus pounders in these waters. Bottom right, oh yeah, there's a hand right there. Yeah, so that's, that's about actual size. There, there's, some, there's some absolutely giant fish. And you know, it, it's just so cool being in the Amazon. I mean, you've got You've got um, caiman swimming around the waters. Uh, we have seen jaguars. We've had groups that have seen jaguars. You've got uh, macaws flying around the treetops. You've got howler monkeys howling in the distance. Um, it's, it's really cool, uh, but it's totally safe. We've never, ever, ever had any issues with any wildlife, any issues with health problems. Uh, and believe it or not, there are no mosquitoes. Where peacock bass are found, the water is too tannic for the mosquitoes. I don't believe that we've ever seen a mosquito on one of these trips, and, and that's a true story. I don't even take bug spray on these trips anymore. So uh, you can click the links down below me and you can check the current dates of our peacock bass trips in Brazil. Uh, if you're watching this before 2024, yours truly is hosting January 6th through the 13th. 2024. I think Pat Kelly is doing a trip in August that's already filled up. I still have some spots available. And then uh, 2025 dates will be posted soon in 2026, 27, because we're not going to, as long as I'm alive, I will be fishing the Amazon every year, needed or not. It's that good. Hit those links down below me. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can send them over to admin at madriveroutfitters.com or pick up the phone and call me here at the shop. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that like button, and watch this video right here, and watch that video right there, and we'll see you soon.